last week's weekly Dubai vlog. I can't call it weekly and not keep up every week. I am on my way to the hairdressers to get a hair consultation. So I don't know if you guys can see, but my hair is basically not burgundy anymore. I've been burgundy maybe for like two years now and I want to keep it going for a bit longer. We're going to work out today. I'm saying where because hopefully you guys are going to be working out with me whilst you're watching this vlog. We're going to go and get some lunch. We're just going to spend some time to ourselves today, being productive, getting a lot of things done and trying to keep out of the sun in this crazy Dubai heat. I finished my hair consultation, which I will tell you guys more about later. Right now we are at the mall. It's so weird that I'm even saying the mall. I'm British, we don't say mall, but in Dubai, everyone says that. So I've kind of picked it up now. We're gonna do some browsing slash shopping. I kind of need some new linen trousers because it's so hot. Hopefully I can find something. It is so hot today. I don't think I can bear it. I'm sure today is about 42, 43 degrees. I just finished being at the mall. I love saying the mall now. I couldn't really find many things. And you know when you try on a pair of jeans and they fit perfectly around your thighs, around your butt, but around the waist at the back is so baggy. It's so annoying. I don't think I can ever find like just a good pair of jeans that fit so perfectly. So I might have to just get some online and then probably get it tailored, which is annoying, but big bum problems, I guess. Not a bad problem to have, but still annoying. The cafe really quickly, Markel and his friend. Look at Markel just making friends in Dubai and me. Markel, my only friend. <laughs> so sad it was really nice to be fair i am getting ready to work out my hair looks crazy i don't know why the heat keeps doing this to my hair i don't know what's going on one thing about the gym is i really do like to look half decent because even though it's just the gym it just makes you feel better about yourself i am gonna do that day i never used to do upper body i used to think i'm a girl why am i doing upper body workouts for isn't that what guys do i used to always do lower body workouts as you get older you realize with working out it's not just about how you look it's literally about your health that's the most important thing Grandma. I thought it was so cute, but Markel said I look like a mushroom. I just had a really good shower. There's nothing nicer than a boiling hot shower. I'm gonna now tone my face with my Glow Recipe watermelon toner. Once I'm done with that toner, I'm gonna go in with my annual toner. really press it into the skin. The best time to do your evening skincare routine is literally right after your shower when your pores are still open. So your skin like just sucks all the skincare in. This toner I bought ages ago, I use it often. You probably can't see, but it's filled up to here still. I'm now gonna use my favorite serum. It's a dark spot correcting serum. Obviously you have to use it consistently for it to work, but it really, really does work.
the right size. They sent us one that's damaged. Damaged. That's got to go back. Plus, it's good because it's the wrong size anyway. No, in the pictures, they make the plants look so huge. And then you get it in person and it's just ridiculous. Yeah. We've finally got a nice plant pot. How pretty <coughs> is this? That's not funny. Another new addition. We have a TV. We don't have a TV stand, hence why it's on the floor. But we have a TV, which I'm so happy about. The living room is coming together slowly, but surely. And how cute is this plant pot? a hair update when I went to the hairdressers the other day. The person who I went to see is a colour specialist and she said that the only way for my hair to go back to being the burgundy it was is to completely bleach my whole head. And I was like, what? I don't want to bleach my whole entire head. I'm sure when I went burgundy the first time, they didn't even bleach my hair. I'm sure they used toner and whatnot. She was saying the only experience she has when it comes to colour is to basically just bleach it. I was just like, whoa. I don't want to be bleaching my hair, especially by someone who's not done my hair before. And honestly, I can't be bothered to deal with like the brittle ends and you know, just all the cons that come with bleaching your hair. So I just decided to leave it and I think I'm going to wait until I get back to London. It's a little bit disappointing. Obviously, I've only been in Dubai for a couple months now, but I am finding it so so difficult finding black hairdressers or people who even just have experience with my type of hair. I'm finding it really tough. Like a lot of the hairdressers, you see like long blonde extensions, not really many people with experience doing black people's hair. Then again, I might be wrong. I've only been here a couple of months. There might be places that I'm just not finding yet. Anyway, enough hair talk. I am gonna start reading this book. My amazing fiance recommended. It's called Start With Your Why. I've heard it's a really, really good book. He's read the whole book. I think twice. He's even like highlighted parts of the book that he thinks are quite good. I really want to get into reading again and I was telling him when I was younger I would read all the time. As you get older you're just on your phone a lot, on your laptop, on your iPad and you just don't take much time reading anymore. So I'm gonna give it a read. I'm gonna fill you guys in once I finish the book because I am going to finish the book. If it's a good recommendation I'm gonna recommend it to you guys. If you haven't picked up a book in a while pick up a book Tell you something I could